Hi, this is Dave Wilbur from AppInventor.org. I'm going to talk about variables in App Inventor 2, how to define them, how to use them, and how it's different from classic. And I've got uh, the paint pot tutorial up. Okay, and this is just an app where you can kind of draw circles, right? And the circles are always of size 5, at least in the version I have here. And it's kind of a dumb UI, but there's this small button and large button. And the idea is when you click on those, you should get either small or big circles when you draw the circles. Okay, so it's a clear need for a variable because there's no canvas properties to keep track of the circle size. You know, it's just done with a parameter. So, so really, we need a variable to remember whether the users click small or small or large. Okay, in App Inventor two, you just go to the variables um, area and you click on it, and you can say initialize global name to whatever. So I'm going to call this guy dot size. Okay, and that's going to be the size of my dots, and I'm going to start the thing out as um, 2, okay. And this is pretty much very similar to, you know, classic App Inventor, right? I define a variable. The name, the wording's different, and it's kind of nice because it kind of makes it clear that you're just initializing the value to 2, and it can change. And I think with the define in, in classic, you know, it kind of almost looked like a constant, right? And that would confuse some, some beginning students. Okay, so I've got a variable defined. Now here's a big difference with variables. To set and get things, um, there's no longer this kind of my definition thing. So I'll just bring up the blocks editor, App Inventor 1, right? You had my blocks and then my definitions. And any parameters or variables you defined would show up there. So it was a little confusing, right? Um, now things are done differently. Now you've just got this one variables folder. When you click it, there's these kind of generic gets and sets. Okay, so I can drag out a set. Okay, and when my small button is clicked, I want to set my dot size to two. Okay, so I'm going to just click on this arrow and I can choose dot size. And this will show me all the variables and parameters in scope. Okay, and in this case, there's just one. Okay, so I'm going to set that to two. And then, of course, I'll do the same thing except make it bigger for. Um, the large button, right? So let's just say we're going to change it to eight um, when the large button is clicked. Okay, and that's that's pretty much it. So just to show you this working, I can now click large and get uh, hold on, click large and get bigger circles. Oh no, I see. Sorry, missed one 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 extra thing. Um, I don't want my radius to always be five. I want to get the global dot size, right? So once again, I'll go over to the variables. Um, grab the get block, okay. Get rid of that five. Change this. And notice when I click on this this time, I'm going to see a bunch of stuff. I'm going to see all the event parameters which are in scope, and then also the global variable dot size which I want, okay. So now I think I've got got what I wanted. Uh, if I go to the emulator and click large. Now I can get the bigger circles, right? And go back to small and I get my smaller circles. You know, two instead of five, right? Um, so anyway, variables are, I think, a little slicker. Um, you initialize them and then you use these kind of generic blocks, pull them out and choose what variable you want once you get it out there. Um, so it should be nice. Uh, it should be a little cleaner than App Inventor Classic. Um, you know, another thing I'm not going to go over in this lesson is local variables. So you can also define variables that are local, to, say, to an event or to a procedure. Okay, today we just did global variables.